So in today's Retro Bat setup guide, we are taking a look at another fantasy console, and this one is Wasm 4. So just like the previous several setup guides I've done for fantasy consoles, this one's very similar. So it's pretty much dedicated to a community of coders making little 8-bit games such as this one that you can see here. And there's some really good games within Wasm 4, so check this one out. <laughs> Okay, before I start today's retro bat and wasm for setup guide, just make sure to hit notification, subscribe, and like if you like today's video. It gets you up to date retro content, emulation content that is, as well as helping my channel out a great deal for doing so. So we're looking at wasm for today. So it's another fantasy console, and I've already covered uh, several of these fantasy consoles within retro bat, such as Pico 8, Tick 80, and a couple of more included love so let's firstly take a look what wasm is i'll leave the links in my description for these websites so just like the other fantasy consoles i've covered recently for retrobat wasm for like i say is pretty much a web assembly language for developing little 8-bit games-esque and i'm going to say esque because some of these games do look very much like 8-bit games so this is where you can learn about wasm 4 if you wish to and start programming and i'm also gonna leave a link in my description for itch.io and specifically this search category which is for wasm 4 games so very similar to other fantasy consoles then graphically and we've got lots of games here but before we start downloading anything we need to know what type of file extensions we need for a wasm 4 in retrobat so it's going to be a case of going to the retrobat shortcut open file location and we're going to open up batchui and if we open up system list and just open up system just here whoops yes systems and if we open up system just here make sure unlike what i've just done mu station system file needs to be on es underscore systems otherwise you'll just end up with one system like you just seen so what we're going to do is just scroll down until we find wasm4 and here is Wasm 4. Now, let me just remind you, if you don't see that scroll down list, which I've just gone through, uh, make sure you watch my fully comprehensive Retrobat setup guide. It's quite literally, you're missing a couple of installation files whilst installing Retrobat, but that setup guide there will sort that out for you. So we are looking for .wasm file extensions for our games. And we can also see under Cores Lib Retro, RetroArch is going to be supporting this with its own core, which is Wasm 4. So if you're new to Retrobat, uh, RetroArch runs in the background of Retrobat, and this is the actual emulator, or rather core, that it uses to power these Wasm 4 games. So now we know that we need .wasms, what we're going to do is head back over to itch.io, and I'm randomly going to select some games just to test out and show you how this works. So we got plenty of games just here to test out if you're into this type of system. So let's check out Dot Carlos. And if we scroll through here, we're going to find most of these games you can download in the actual file extension that RetroWatch or RetroBat is looking for. And if we scroll up most of these games, you can actually play them. Just test them out. So what I'm going to do is just download that. As you can see, it's now downloaded and it's .wasm file extension. And punch them up, whatever this game is about. So download now. No thanks, just take me to the downloads. And we want to download the .wasms. Like I say, this is the file extensions that we need. And some of these games actually, from what I've just been looking at, don't actually have download files. In that case, it's just really a simple case of going on Google and just typing in Wasm for download games or something along those lines. And let's check Spunky out. Maybe Spunky has got a download, which it does. Cool. So we got three games then for this. So if I just head over to my downloads folder, and from my downloads folder, I'm going to just copy those into my Retrobat ROMs directory. And obviously, we're looking for the Wasm4 folder just here. And here we go, Wasm4. So I'm just going to paste those few games inside of there. And that's about it. So let's open up Retrobat. 
Okey doke. So let me just remind you, if you are new to my channel, I've got over a hundred setup guides for Retrobat and actually Adobe Flash Player was a very popular setup guide which I uploaded a couple of days ago. Well worth checking that setup guide out. So we're going to go to Wasm for them which is now appeared and here's the games. I'm going to just check out if I can get some artwork for these or preview videos. So main menu, Scraper and Scrape Now. Now, sometimes with these really obscure systems, you get lucky with artwork being scraped and sometimes you'll end up with nothing at all. So it's a little bit of a situation where you're either lucky or you're not so lucky. And while this is downloading, if I press select and go to advanced system options, we'll find it's literally just that RetroArch core. So we don't have an option here to change emulators. It is what it is. But our artwork is now scraped, so if I go to main menu, game settings, update game list and press on yes. So we scraped a couple of games and the game which is called Cart, which to be fair, the game isn't called Cart, so just rename files which download like that. So what we're going to do is just boot up our first game which is Spunky. So oddly addictive, good old spunky. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to just go to view options by pressing select, advanced system options, and if I go to shader set, we got a range of different shaders here to use. I always recommend curvature shader because it gives us a CRT and slight scan line effect. So let's just check out curvature. And under decorations, we've got no decoration which is going to obscure those black bars on the side of the screen. But we can also use one of these, such as Ambience Night. We can check this one out. Um, if you're going to be using a decoration, also make sure that game aspect ratio is set to auto, which is going to auto select 4x3. If you use one of these decorations and go for something like a full size screen or even core provided, it will chop off a lot of your gameplay image. So just make sure auto or 4x3 is selected. Uh, integer scale, this is obviously going to clean up a bit of the pixelation, but let's just remember that Wasm 4, the part of the charm of these games is the pixelation. Uh, vertical sync, obviously that's going to take away screen tear, but again, I don't really think it's going to apply much of these games. And if we go down to visual rendering, we've got video filters, and again, we can apply a filter to this, such as scan lines, but the shader I've just used has already got a scan line effect implemented into that, so it doesn't really matter. And smooth games by linear filtering, by default, this is gonna be on auto. So let's just take a look at the game again with the settings applied. So this time, let's go for a punch up. So to be fair, I think without the shader placed on those, it kind of looks better. So advanced system options, shader set, and I'm actually going to go to auto. And I'm also going to change decorations on this. I didn't quite like the effects that was given. I'm going to put ambience game room on and go back into the game again.
So not a bad game, just a nice little couple of minute time breaker if you're a little bit bored. Um, finally, we got this very mysterious cart game. Let's just check this one out, see what this is like. So that's it for today's Retro Bat in Watson 4 setup guide. So like I said at the start of the video, I've also covered several other fantasy consoles through Retro Bat, so make sure to check those out, which is of course in my very long Retro Bat playlist, like I say, over 100 videos as it stands for Retro Bat. And let me just remind you that I'm not strictly just a Retro Bat channel, far from it. I cover a hell of a lot of different retro emulation on my channel. Anyways, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like. Also, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. <laughs>